Okay, uh, sup clowns, it's me again. Thought I was gonna retire my voice from videos because it's just funnier if I don't use it than if I do. But uh, here I am. Because I'm so hype about um, all this anime nonsense coming down the pipes. Not just anime, a, sh a shitload of anime. And uh, some some anime that's gonna bring in some hella normies, which is good. Let's uh, double our numbers, which isn't, which still isn't that much. Still not that much compared to other lesser card games. But it's okay, uh, normies and clowns who can't understand the game mechanics can uh, still, they can still kick rocks and go play Super or something, it's okay. So let's talk about how big of a deal My Hero Academia is. It's probably the biggest IP you can get that isn't Pokemon or Dragon Ball. And on the other hand, we got UFS, which isn't a big deal. In fact, UFS is pretty small time compared to every other card game out there. Or I guess we can call it uni uni universes now. So uh, I see a lot of you out there taking for granted that we're getting My Hero Academia coming to the uh, univer universes family. So let's take a moment to talk about this guy and what this guy has done for us. He could have said, peace bitches, I no longer do that UFS thing. I, uh, I am now the owner and proprietor of the My Hero Academia trading card game and I am going to ride that shit for at least a decade because that's probably how long it's going to be popular for at least. And I'm going to make the uh, game mechanics be dummy easy for all the kids and the uh, otakus, fully grown otaku adults in diapers who can't read yet. But he didn't do that. He, di he didn't sell out. He just got the My Hero Academia license and instead of taking off from all this bullshit that is UFS and all this mediocrity in terms of in terms of popularity and exposure he is going to try to make the best out of a scenar this scenario in which he does not sell out. He is going to wear this card game like a ball and chain. He could have freaking Dragon Ball Z in the palm of his hands and do you know what we would see come out come of that fam we wouldn't have a Dragon Ball Z game stand alone we would have Dragon Ball characters in our shitty little microscopic card game we could have he could have Pokemon and do you know what would happen if for some reason, some reason, Jasko got a hold of, <laughs> of the Pokemon license, we would have Pokemon in our, in our, in UFS. Even though he gets a lot of shit for how he's run our card game for the past decade, it's now clear without a doubt that Jason was the right man for the job. Do you think he's changing the name to Universes because it's some kind of miser business strategy? He's doing it because he's going to exhaust every single little thing to make this ball and chain that he carries worth it. He's doing it for people like you and me, Phil. Because he has a commitment to never let this card game die. Even though he's just reached the pinnacle that he could sell us all out. You remember that next time you think about giving this man shit. But for real though, I'm about to give him shit in like a minute. So uh, anyways, yeah, this video is a late set review for the most recent set. Uh, I'm of, of course referring to the Bleach UFS set. Uh, let's get into that. Uh, first, we got uh, Kempachi. Uh, just like in the show, he takes off his uh, he takes off his eye patch to go into his next form to power up. And I mean, we got double uh, stacks of characters for this set, so it's really appropriate. His first card, he got he's got his eye patch on, takes it off in his second card. 
all of his resources he can throw at you, he just throws at you. So let's take a closer look. Yeah, that's perfect. It's perfect. Just what I imagined. So he's a hype character for like uh, people that don't want to think too much, I guess. It's very appropriate for Kenpachi though. So it's it's great. It's spot on. Uh, next up we got Byakuya. He overzealously upholds the law. He's got a big emphasis on the order symbol. He has a uh, shunpo, so he makes stuff flash, just like in the show. And um, he fights using suspended light swords when he does his bankai. Let's let's uh let's pull that up. Oh God, it's per it's perfect. I just oh God. I just love Byakuya. I love anime. Um, probably one of my favorite characters. As we've seen from the uh, previous tournaments, his power level might not be like super, super high tier, but he's like he's he's there. I'm probably gonna play him a bit just because order symbol's been shafted for so long. Okay, uh, next up we got Rukia. Yeah, Rukia has kind of an ice theme ice theme going on and for her bankai it's like a big uh ice spirit but that that's manga only but uh let's take a look at that oh god I, I love the white outfit from the soul society arc brings back memories perfect spot on uh next up we got uh mashiro the wizard the best girl the biker chick they really did a good job of capturing the uh, essence of all these characters she combos the bejesus out of you, which is kind of her thing in the show too. Just comboing with a bunch of kicks, like kicks every single uh, hollow in the face. <coughs> <sighs> it's perfect, great. Moving right along, we've got Yuroichi. She's a ninja and she steals a lot. Sometimes she turns into a cat though. So she'll trick you, she'll turn into a cat, and you won't know, and she'll steal stuff. So, yeah, this is probably the best character in the set, like, um, mechanics-wise. Like, you can build a billion different decks around this, and every single game you play, it's gonna be feel like a completely different game based on whatever your opponent's playing. A lot of interaction. Probably most excited for this character. Hopefully, uh, more support will make it more viable, because uh, as far as I know, it hasn't, uh done particularly good in uh, any PTCs but I love the character nonetheless so this next one these next characters are from the Bount arc so I guess they th they're gonna plan a lot of bleach sets that's why they're like getting these random ass filler characters out of the way so they have a lot of material to use up uh, there's still spot-on representations of the anime counterparts and um, if uh, if anyone watched the bound arc, tell me if their if their abilities match, cause I can't really tell. But solid, solid. Uh, we got some one offs. We got Asagawa. I think that's his name, the plant guy. We got Kisuke Urahara. We got Hitsugaya. We got Hueco Mundo Fortress. We got that guy's probably from a movie or something. 